So we have to confront the issue, and we have to discuss mental health, and we have to do something about it. You know, in the old days, we had mental institutions. You had a lot of them. And you could nab somebody like this because, you know, they did. They knew he was — something was off. You had to know that. People were calling all over the place. The president, by saying we need — maybe we need more mental hospital beds and expanded inpatient capacity, uh, has a point. Um, there are too few beds, but the whole trajectory of mental health care in this country has been for the last 50 years to reduce that capacity in the guise or uh, uh, be, uh, in the interest of providing more humane care. The problem is, is that it was easy to say, we're going to close hospitals, we're going to reduce the budgets of states for mental health services, but they didn't provide anything in order to care for people in the community that's required. And as a result of that, we have the homelessness, the prisoners with mental illness, the mass violent events, the addictions, and a variety of social pathologies. So you can't have it both ways. You've got to, if you're going to reduce hospital beds, deinstitutionalize, which is great, you've got to have adequate services, and we haven't done that. In fact, close to 50 percent of mass violent attacks are by untreated people who have mental illness. Uh, the other largest portion are terrorists. Um, so the way to stop mass violence is to stop it early in the course of people developing mental illness before it gets so bad that their symptoms can impel them to do these terrible things. And in almost all the cases that have occurred in the last decade or so, including the most recent with Nicholas Cruz, there were warning signs long before it ever got to the point that they were going to uh, commit some kind of atrocity. But even if we had gun control, and there wasn't access to firearms, if we didn't treat people with mental illness, we would still have violence. We would just have violence with knives or with hammers or with something else that could be used as an implement of destruction. Now, true, many fewer people would be harmed by it, but some people would still be harmed by it, and it's for the same cause.